Hey now, it's Friday. I'm looking to put my trade on. So we're up to 14 contracts now. And I'm getting a signal on my on my calls. Let's see, I have these. You can see I have some alternative trades here just kind of placed just to see what the pricing is. And I'm going to try to get in on this one here. Create duplicate order. Let's get in at, let's see if we can get 80. So I'm going to throw that out there at 80. See it working. Okay, there it is working right now. I'm trying to get 80, 14 contracts at 80, and it's showing 65 right now. So I'll keep an eye on that. I'm just going to come over here and look at my other alternatives I have sitting here. So the next one, a little five points further away, is at 45. So that's pretty far away. And then these are puts down there. So let's see if I can let's see if we can get filled at 80 here on this one. I'm thinking we might. There's 70. Can we get 80? There's 77. Oh, I have two. I have two of these open. I don't want that. How'd that happen? Oh, that'd be great. Okay, so I somehow I had two of those open there. Mm, weird. And so this is the one we're working on now. This is 80. We're trying to get 80. It's at 75. Just a little bit more. Come on. Let me see if we get, if we can't get 80 on this. What is the if we came in by five points. Oh, there it goes. I think. Let's see. So there we go. So we're in at 80. All right. So let's lock this in. 80. 14 contracts at 80. That's the 5125. 5125. And I'll just go ahead and set my automatic profit taking order, which is I'll just buy these back at 30. Like so that'll give us $700. So I'll put that out there. So it out there working. There it is. Buy back at 30. And we're off. We're off and running on this. So I'm going to uncheck this just so I can monitor that live price, which is at 95 now. I'll uncheck this so I can see my risk graph. And there we go. We're down 100 bucks. That's not good. Okay. So this is looking good. And while I was doing that, I kind of forgot about these other trades I had on. So that's not too good. Oh, that's all right. I'm distracted. I have, I have, I shouldn't be multitasking. You know, they say multitasking is really bad. Everyone, I used to think it was so smart if you could be a multitasker and do a lot of things at once, but they said that it's really, uh, it's it's a bad thing to do. Like, only idiots do it. No, it really affects the uh, the output, apparently. Oh, over here, I got these. Order filled. <laughs> okay. So, now that we have that on, let's just go over and do our typical, we'll eavesdrop on the old day trading room. So, we have this... Uh, I trade this futures day trading strategy. I call it Vince Trade, and it's taught in this room, and it's a cool way to spend the morning. You just get in here and trade live with us and talk about 80s stuff, like 1980s. Where, where are we? And make some money. We're leveraging the prop program, so this is the micro futures day trading strategy, and it's really cool. It's a, it's a cool program. Check it out. You can get a free trial to this. Just email me, and I can get you in on a free trial, and... Uh, you can come in and join us. So let's tune into the room, see what's going on. You know, their bid zone move. Give me some bid zone action. Look at gold popping, too. Order Order Gotta love it. Order 
Yeah. All right. Um, I couldn't think of a better day to ask for everybody's money to join the cult, the community of drunk monkeys. I got to tell you, I, I feel like some of my life right now is a little bit of drunk monkey-ish. Order filled. All right, let's let's uh, cancel that. Order filled. I don't mind being short the Dow at these prior session highs here. So throw in some because the Dow is just filled. doing great things here. Anyone was short uh, crude oil? Do you have any crude oil shorts? Just about everything is working out. I mean, the only thing that's not working out is if you stayed stayed short the NASDAQ for too long, and hopefully everyone's learned their lesson there on how to do that. Just get in, get out, get on with your life. There you go. $49 in your PA. Remember, once you've practiced enough and you get through these, uh, get through these programs. Oh my goodness, what happened there? We sold our f our final. Uh, that's not a short, right? There we go. Do 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 do. That's nice to get out of that. There you go. Final target on the S on the. Uh, we just hit VWAP on the Dow Jones. Uh, I'm always weary of shorting or doing anything with, uh, what, what are we asking here? We're asking, uh, here we go. Um, yet another NASDAQ runaway Friday. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? Check it out here. We got um, NVIDIA 808. 808, man. 808 base. Plus, Meta closing in on 500. Why not? Poor little Apple. Could you imagine when Apple joins the party? NASDAQ 20,000. All right. What is... Uh, let me see here. Um, what were we saying? Crude oil. Right here, right? So the question was, with the POC in the offer zone... Um, no, not, not a, actually... Good question. So... The, the thing that makes you cautious on shorting is we're outside day up. So that, that's the first thing. You either, you know, mess around with that a little bit or you don't or you have, you know, some days where you might want to try it. So outside day ups are not great for shorting anything, right? But on this kind of look, for now, it's it's kind of just a toss-up. It's a 50-50. It's, it, it's, although this is technically the VPOC right there, you should be able to draw your eye towards the fact that this is all kind of a... Decent volume zone there. Decent volume, whatever. What's nuts? <coughs> These nuts. What's nuts is the squirrels. There you go. That's nuts. No, but to finish off the question on this, this uh, can, can be some nice resistance for right now. So on the range trader, there, there may not be a short here for some of you, but there's no longs. So by process of elimination, by process of elimination, hi squirrels. You cute little squirrels.
All right. I didn't check the checklist, but what is our ROP on the – let's take a look. ROP on the NASDAQ today is 274s. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting close. All right. Couldn't think of a better day to suggest that you go to tradersdevgroup.com slash leap year. Right there. I'm going to do this in an incognito browser because there is server side on the, sorry, client side on Kartra. So Steve and others, it's it's not an actual customer or anything. It's it's something that I manually put in there. So Casey is someone that I manually added. He was he was on here, but so anyway. Now you see that that's clean. You come over here, you go to that site, you put in leap 29, and you make your first investment in my Singer Porsche. It's a fantastic investment. Also happens to be an investment in yourself, lifetime membership to all the goodness that is the trading room here, and then everything else. But I want to emphasize that I put in my best work here in the room, and they're all recorded. So get you some of that. Ends today. The fun ends today. It ends today. Look at gold just ripping. Ripping, tater chipping. Got some nice PNLP today. Brandon, extra points for Brandon for putting it in uh, the the uh, market analyzer. We love the market analyzer. Give us some market analyzer. All right. We're going to do some trades over here. Do I have an ETF account group? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. What is in the ETF account group? Yes. Okay. We got that. Um, so we need a two lot here, which is what we'll do. And 187s. So we go 187 quarter right there. See if we can get a fill. We don't need the financial juice here anymore. And let's continue messing around with the tops here on the NASDAQ over here. And a long right here. I'm practicing on top step X with $200 a day. Now, daily profit goals are silly. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. But they have this kind of silly thing that you have to do $200, I think, over three trading days or maybe five trading days. So I'm probably not going to ever fund any of these, but I just want to trade them in a way in which I could easily uh, be meeting the requirements. So on days like today, where I think the setup for continuing to trade is pretty nice, we had that that uh, pop that happened from the news event. <coughs> we popped it. Drop and pop. Order submitted. Order submitted. 
I'm still short the NASI over here, so let's see if we can run this down a little bit. Run it down. There you go. There you go. Uh, this will be nice if we can hit this because we'll be up about four grand in this account. Uh, we're at, we're out. Now we're out. We'll just see. We'll trade the the normal thing here. Let's stay on this account for a second. Just see. See if we can get up to one of these swing levels here. Nice. I love it. Sharing a little bit of... Look, everything was fine today except for red numbers. So it doesn't seem like anyone had a red number. Lots of, uh, lots of you look like you were maybe a little overly conservative. Uh, depends, right? Did have that that uh those news events led to their billing man that was that was as wacky as i've seen in a while but it was somewhat to be expected i didn't think it would be that wacky let's let's just go back and look at it for a second over here <laughs> this is so great that's so great take a screenshot It's like art. Yeah, we can, we can do a, uh, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Sell, sell, sell. Cover. Sell cover sell cover 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 and now we're right back up Here we go. Hit it. 187 quarter. There we go. Short. Short. One eighty seven quarter. What's plus twos? Plus twos are ninety. So sometimes I'll just do this. This is silly. You don't need to do this, but like I want to get the absolute right price. So you can stop me there and now come up to 90 maybe. <laughs> Short the Dow here. I'm just going to cover that. We had such a good uh good morning. I want to wait for you agree with Brandon. What did Brandon say? I agree with everybody. Um, yeah, so uh, around getting used to the Dow versus the ES. And don't get me wrong, you, you, the whole idea around situational fluency, when I say, when I suggest moving to the Dow, the S&P is fine too. The MES is fine. Just the MNQ when you're learning this stuff is, is, is pretty much off limits. So you don't have to not look at or continue to trade the MES. Remember, with the risk budgets and as you pick up these strategies, you could easily have one or two contracts on in both markets. Just make sure that, God dang, this ZN. Now this is starting to leave a mark here because I got short over here. I'm never short the treasuries and just decided to venture in today. Order submitted. Order held. Order submitted. ZT, Order ZT just went bonkers. Front end. Front end bonkers.
Let's see if we can get a short on there. All right, so but I get it. It takes a while to to maybe adjust to something else. Brad mentions it a lot, him getting used to uh, getting used to the Dow. But I, I want to emphasize don't don't get in your head too much on that stuff because the range trader truly works for any instrument. You can just look at the 30 minutes, look at the volume profile. Trust the lines of, of whether we're bull or bear continuation pattern. See how the volume profile develops during the session. Remember the importance of the prior sessions profile, especially the prior sessions VPOC, and then have at it. The uh, stay in your lane and the range trader are meant to be symbiotic. You don't have to trade both. You don't have to have uh, levels from both influence your thinking, but they are symbiotic. All right, just sold the ZT. Can't see that working. God, rates are collapsing today. Is there a cheat sheet with general guidance on what to do with different uh, different day types? Yeah, it's called the pre-market checklist. It's right there. The pre-market checklist every day, and it's dynamic every day. Dynamic. What's going on here? Crude oil up to some uh, shenanigans. New highs. Look at that crude. We we did that right before before that nonsense started, huh? It would probably be hard for me to be better at the NASDAQ than I have been this week. It would be tough. God, I'm just trading this so small too with one lots, one and two lots. All right, we're out again, and then you can see my resting orders up here. I'm going to pick this lower of the three swings. I like to, um, I don't talk about this very, but what these swings represent to me is obviously what you're seeing visually, a trend shift, and we made a series of three lower highs in a row, right? Actually, this was a higher high from, from this, but so we made two lower highs in a row. So now I'm going to take the lowest of those highs as a re-entry target right there. Make sure you check the alerts. Leap 29, join forever. Dude, nailed that ZT for 390 bucks. <laughs> the ZT is $7.81 or 81 and a half cents or something like that per tick, but each tick is is really more condensed than the other look, so 
Got to get used to the ZT. 102, 177, 178, 180, 179, all that. So each, each tick, seven bucks. But so if you move 10 ticks, $70. All right, did I miss any questions here? Uh, Renko settings for Sierra charts. Uh, we've had some discussions on that in the members Discord. I don't know if, who was the, who was the Sierra chart person? We had a Sierra chart person, a couple of them that knew about Sierra charts. There is a way that you can do a Brickwick offset in Sierra charts. I don't know. I answered the cheat sheet thing. This is the cheat sheet, baby. It is. Right here. Come in and, by the way, look at my thumbnail skills. Check out this thumbnail. With, the, with this monkey, we have all the monkeys. All the monkeys. Uh, I always do open to close. That's how I do things. So, because that's the trading style associated with this. So, and on um, on tools like Trader View, like if you're using Trader View, um, I haven't logged in here in forever. I bought three different uh, gold plans, and uh, but anyway, if you go to trades. See, the way this works is the trade is um, entry to exit. So that's how that's how it does it there. And that, that's how I would do it, entry to exit. And then if you use TraderView or one of them, you can also tag. You can tag things appropriately as well. All right. I made so much money today that... I'm just going to take some of these demo accounts and keep trading them. All right. Uh, I have a different ATR than you on my market analyzer. Not sure. Maybe the settings are wrong. Have it set to. Um, Ryan, did you use the workspace that you downloaded from here? Yeah, it's you it's it's always one of the same things, so it's a setting or something. For the MES for instance, the ATR is 46.84. Yeah, just down uh if you go to files, so you go to files and you go to uh you just want to what are we using gang? Primary futures. I haven't updated that in a while since June 12th of 2023, but go to primary futures and then import that into your Ninja. But I don't know how to import something into Ninja, you say. Well, then whenever you have a question, you come over to tradersdebitgroup.com, you put in the help library, and you just type in, you don't type in how to cancel a TDG membership. That's not what you want to type in. Um, you type in uh, import, And you see all the ways to import various things, how to import a workspace into NinjaTrader. And there's a video for that that I made four years ago. So anyone that's concerned about getting the most out of your investment, your lifetime investment, we are here for the duration, people. We're here for the duration. Oh shit, I forgot to reply. Order filled. Oh goodness. Order submitted. Order canceled. Here, come on. Order submitted. 
order filled. All right, so we got you hooked up there. I'm going to uh, I'm going to be a buyer right here at this high volume node, one thirties. See if we can get down to one thirties. S and P came in nicely from uh, pop up to the twenties. Now it's back inside day. Dow Jones. I think that developing value high there of 3960s was sitting there, I think. So if that was sitting there, that got you done there too. G plus three, I love it. All right, we're gonna finish a little early here. Just trying to figure out how many people are going to join the greatest trading group of all time. If you have any questions, um, Some people are sending me some stupid emails recently. I got all this training everywhere, and I don't know why people can't find it. All right. Um, what was I saying? Oh. So if you want to talk it out, make sure you know how to get a hold of Brad. You can send him something. He'll send you. Where's your calendar? Your calendar is always up in, uh, yeah, go here. Right here. Right here talk it out he'll reassure you uh, another thing folks is if anyone's on any other kind of plan if you're on a quarterly plan or if you've made a couple monthly plans or whatever we will apply everything that you've paid to date to lifetime upgrade if you want to do that because we're just so cool like order that. filled we're cool like that. We're cool like that. Nice, River. Love it. All right, let's do it officially. What is our P&L and EC scores today? What do we got? Keep them coming. Hoga top steps down 458. Okay, well, whatever. It's not about keeping the score with P&L. If he's down 458, that's hopefully within his daily risk budget. I'm sure he's, one thing he seems to be pretty good at is abiding by his daily risk budget. Whereas Michael is not a good trader. He's all over the place. He's never made money uh, trading pretty much in his life. Um, he says he has, but he hasn't. Uh, when you're down lifetime over time, you're not, you're not doing it right. I couldn't even describe what those guys say their strategies are. I don't even know. I, I watch. Do you guys watch a little bit of Top Step TV? They're like kind of guessing, and then they talk about big blocks at these prices and this and that. And I'm like, what? What are you doing? Where are you entering, and why? What are you doing? It's like totally random. What, is it, what does it even mean? You got the PTR recordings on your TV? I love it. River, you've been pretty active in here. Dig deep, dude. Dig deep. Or do that or whatever. Dig deep. Grab a credit card. 1700 bucks. God, 1700 bucks. You'll make that in an hour eventually. Stick with this. Stick with this. Folks, this is the, these are prop accounts, all demos, you know, with a risk budget. This is a live account here, down 125 bucks. Um, but this is not unrealistic. I didn't, I didn't get lucky. We didn't get lucky today. It wasn't luck. It was probabilities working in our favor, resting some orders at the right spots. Market came up and popped real quick, and then dropped, and then has since held those levels for the most part. We control our risk. We're in at the right places. Does it look like that every day? No, not every day, but many days, a lot of days, many days.
And this is a lot different. It's a lot different than people that are trying to teach and show a $150,000 top step account, which of course we know is a $3,000 account. Let me say that again, a $150,000 top step account is a $3,000 account. And you can't learn and follow and you're not doing it right if you're listening to some guy like Rips or anybody else or all their teaching or all their training and everything else out there, even guys that I like, like Corbs and stuff that are still for the most part on minis, you can't be on minis in these accounts. 1000% you can't. So making $500 or a thousand bucks on a $3,000 account, trading a mini or two in the day is pure effing luck. However, making whatever this is, which is probably two grand or more, trading this style is not luck. It's a skill. This is an important concept, folks. There is no proper way to trade a three, five, ten thousand dollar account in the futures markets with minis. You will not make it. I've been doing this for 30 years. You won't even make it with a ten thousand dollar account. So we have this amazing opportunity now to do things a little differently because all the stars are aligning. Cheap prop programs, multiple accounts, which may not be here forever. You can't set something like this up at Ninja Trader or at Dorman or at StoneX or something like that. I have to fight with interactive brokers to open up every new account. Literally fight with them because you have to have a justification for why do you have this $5,000 and a $10,000 account, and then a $1.1 million account, and then a trust account. And then they like more accounts because it generates more commissions. But when it comes to futures trading, they're on, they're on to us because of the frickin' CME. And the CME wants their data for every single thing. There goes the Nazi. New highs. New highs for everything. Go, go, go. There goes the Nazi. There goes the Nazi. Dun, 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 dun. Short the Dow Jones again in these accounts. I don't know what's happening. I need to cancel some of these. Look at this. All right. I'm just going to. If we're going to get short, it's going to be a prior session high. And then I'm shorting this one account here just to kind of keep us. Yeah, you guys all get what I'm putting down. It doesn't make these firms bad. I don't think it makes the firms bad. If you want to, all, all I'm pointing out is that sorry, I was just looking at this uh, ZB over here popping back up to 119.26s. Come on, come in a little bit. I haven't been short the ZB in forever and today I'm fighting this thing where rates are just crushing getting crushed uh, look at the rates over here damn damn now we need this over here right on right on the line 435 right on the line i don't know is it gonna hold We'll see. It's treacherous. Treacherous. All right. For some reason, I still got, I forgot what I was doing here, but let's take that off there.
every trade in the NASDAQ today, uh, full NASDAQ has been profitable for me. That'll never happen again. Every single short. I'll try to take Order a to a loser eventually once I have one, but... All right, stop that again. Order filled. Gold is just going bonkers today. Should we ensure that it just it, it goes up $100 today by shorting it? I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Don't do this at home. All right, short gold. All right, um, do we have any other questions today? So do you have a paid account to get in Discord? Just started trial, so not sure about anything. Um, yes, Discord is, uh, is the one thing that, there's two things that are not available on the trial. One are the indicators for TradingView or the extreme turn for Ninja. So this, uh, this care pack of goodness here, which is uh, the extreme turn, T-Line Supreme, a couple things like that. So that goodness is not part of it. And then Discord. Everything else, including you know being in the, here in the room and listening to me sing, the most important parts are included. They're included, baby. So Discord is not. But you can grab, make sure you know you can grab the recordings by hitting the hamburger menu in the upper left hand side okay i've had enough of you 30 year i've had enough of you 10 year the 10 year is going to get to 111 111 r2 is coming in at uh 111 spot 01 i don't need it to keep going up because i can't make any more money on my short puts you can only make so much money you only see a lifetime option? No, there are actually, there are, in fact, on the pricing page, you wouldn't see the lifetime option. So if you'd like to come over here, you're welcome to pop over there. Brad might have a little special coupon for one of these three prices, probably not the monthly, but maybe a little bit of a month off on the quarterly or the annual, if you wanna go that route. Come on, man. Lifetime? To be here for a lifetime? Yeah, now you know for sure. Uh, so everybody, if you're interested in joining, please contact Brad. He can help out with any potential. Uh, the discount that we're running right now is on the lifetime, and the lifetime is... 29% off. All right, I think that will be it forever. Forever and forever. Forever and forever. All right, well, here's the good news. So far, I've only down five bucks on my, five bucks on my, oh, now $7. Now $7. Digital gold is going the other direction order filled digital gold all right sold another zt again zt back up at the top 102 186 102 186 order filled. 102 186 Is the pre-market checklist mentioned for guidance on how to handle different day available to download? It's, uh, Todd, just scroll up to the top of the chat. It's at the top of the chat every single day. So scroll up to the top of the chat and you can download it every single day. The, the worksheet to create it on your own is a member's thing and it's in, uh, it's in there. It's in there, baby. All the goodness. All 
Oh, Brad's internet's been down, so maybe you can't get a hold of him immediately, but uh, you will eventually. Khalil, welcome to Traders Dev Group forever. Are you in here today? Khalil? Khalil? Am I saying that right? Welcome. Now we're down 17 bucks. Can't see this work. Can't see this working out. Ooh, what, what do we get filled on? Oh, there you go. Back at this 190. Now it's a straight shot to 200. Straight shot to 200. All right, I'm going to cancel these. We made a hundred and what does that say? $159? $159. Let's make sure we made that in every account. We made it there. We made it here, 160. We made it there, 159. We made it here, 160. Their copier works really well. I mean, it's just so simple, their copier, that it just it just works really well. It's a very good copier. A very good copier. All right, my short 18,100 calls, not looking good right now. We might we might have might have some problems there. You combine that with the KS, welcome. All right, well, you'll have the trial badge removed from your name because on Sunday night, you're gonna be given the member's password. The nice thing about being a member is you use the same password for the whole month, so it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Very nice. All right. Uh, I do not want to be short here, uh, the Dow anymore. Dow has gone line to line, baby. Give me a one in the chat if anyone took this line to line. Did anyone take it line to line? So I'm going to get out of this position here. I'm getting, I'm getting the heat, the Friday heat. Let's make it 140. Taking my lumps. Friday morning lumps. Whoop. Let's pause this. Not bad at all. Okay, so I got out of 14 contracts at 140. That leaves us at an 840 loss. That's not nice. That's not good. So we took our lumps on this one, 840. Let's pull out the old Excel sheet. Um, today is two, what, two, oh, this is three, March 1st. Oh, 1324. This was minus, was it 880? Uh, um, 840. So we took 840 minus 840. And the risk on this one was 5880. Oh, shit. 5880. We were in this trade for. Uh, let's say 50, uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes, and it's a big old loser. Loser! So, what does that mean for the next one? The next one, we got to, I could probably go and come down, right? So, I'll say 420 times uh, 13 contracts is 5460. I don't think this thing updated. It 
that it? I don't think so. Okay, so we got what do we got here? So total wins are 10, 10,090. Total losers. Forty-eight eighty, and then when we calculate those together, we're at fifty-two ten. So okay, so fifty-two ten, and oh yeah, so we can do. We can't do fourteen. I don't think right. Fourteen contracts times four twenty. Fifty-eight. Uh, Thirteen contracts times four twenty. 54. Oh, we can't do that either. So 12 times 420, 50, 40. So we can do, so we scale down to uh, 12. Like I said, this is where we're just kind of getting hung up. We kind of got over it and we thought we had some clear sailing ahead, but then got we got hit back down okay so there we go that's where we stand as of friday morning march 1st at 8 a.m in the morning california time all right so uh we're at let's just see what our totals are at this point like we started with 420 so and we've made a total profit altogether 5210 divided by 420 right 1,240% since starting this on December 6th. And we, and our initial investment was 420 bucks, which we've turned into 5,210. So that's, man, that is, that is so good. Um, so it's always nice to just remind myself of that when I take these fish slaps like this one, 840. Okay, so this is it for uh, this one. We'll see if we get another signal today. If you'd like to follow along with me on these trades, just make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. And also uh, be sure to join my email newsletter. There's a lot of extra stuff that I send out and then I'm planning to start sending out with my email newsletter. So make sure you're subscribed to that. It's free. Go to my website. I'll leave a link to my website in the description below. So just head on over there, sign up for that free email newsletter. You'll get a welcome email from me. Just reply back to that welcome email and introduce yourself and say, hey, what's up? I'll get back to you and we'll go from there. All right, that's it for this one. See you next time.